No, no, don't do this. Who could have predicted having every single one of these very large, very dangerous animals dependent on a single person being here might backfire? They're eating roach. They're eating roach, and I, I can't do a damn thing about it. I will never forgive you, Grogna Grognison. First the inn, then the dragon, then Rita, and now Roach. Because that's right, of course, at the end of yesterday's episode, Rita was instantly down by a side power, and of course, in base game remote, that's enough to abandon the caravan, even though it was only a temporary side power, stunning her. <laughs> Not really balanced for, for what we're doing, to be fair. Now she is kidnapped. Taken by Grogna Grognison. Well, I suppose there's some good news to all of this terrible stuff happening. Grigna Jr. is now old enough. My god, 15 melee at the age of 7 is so good. Optimist and tough. Talent is kitchen hand. Oh, no, I've got I've got bigger plans for you, my friend. Choose three skills for Grigna Jr. to increase his passion for. Well, I feel like this is probably an easy one. Amazing trait selection there. I mean, what, what am I going to choose from? Stinky, sickly, incompetent, ignorant, or inquisitive, or academian. Um, you know what? Now that you mention it, yeah. Yeah, I think I will pick the one that's uh, a positive. Thank you. Grigna's warriors are ready and fully armored at long last. Uh, Gr Grigna's chosen six people that went on all those adventures, all those missions, got us all that loot. And given that this time it's personal, I think Bones is going to have to come along for the ride too. Sorry, is your hat uh, an ostrich? I think that's what that's supposed to be. Now, now even though we are preparing the, the final battle against Grigna Grignus, and we're going to go and get back Rita. We, we did very conveniently get a cotton harvest in, so I have done a little decorating. It, was there much point? No. No, there wasn't. The, the problem is now the only preparation we can do is while it's paused. Because if uh, if we let any time pass, all of the animals are going to go feral and kill each other. So the only thing we can do then, really, is level up our people. I've taken bones all the way up to regrow limbs. Well, she got invisibility. That's not so useful. But the regrow limbs is going to be good, given that we're just about to charge into a final battle. What about... Grigna. Grigna has nothing. Classic. Phil. Phil the brain eater. You know what? Let's just upgrade those magic stats. Let's blow up some brains on the way. We've got Cyric. Uh, honestly, I think I'm just going to keep upgrading your base stats because we still can't really use KO that frequently and I'd rather see some of these ultimate moves popping off. Speaking of ultimate move, uh, Scooty Poot does have access to fire beam. I'm just going to upgrade the low because you've only got 333, which to be fair at this point does seem pretty low. Uh, Gunty. Can't do anything with Gunty. Love again. Can't do anything with you either. Irina. Again, only 380 load. I feel like Phil with his uh, 700,000 is, is really ruined things for us. I see McCall, Sebastian. We can't do anything with anyone. Now, we're obviously going to leave McCall, Sebastian, and the children here. As much as I'm sure Grigna Jr. is uh, probably one of the most skilled characters at going out on a crusade. I am just gonna... I think it's safer to leave the child at home. But, Dad, you went on a crusade when you were seven... Shut up! Shut up, Grigna Jr. If anyone else dies, I'm never going to hear the end of it. Go back to the castle. Good God. Didn't you know Lady send Rita out by herself? Oh, I don't know, because she was unkillable. Like, literally unkillable. And only fell to the minutiae that is the game mechanics being very bizarre in this game. The second someone falls over, stubs their fucking toe, the caravan is abandoned. They're lost to the ether for the rest of time. That's not my fault. Now we are going to send the whole damn squad. Gunty, Scooty, Sirik, Grigna, Phil, Lupus, Gazoos. Sister La Baguette and Bones for Bones' first ever proper a, a proper a combat, I suppose. Has she been out on a quest? Not really. She went on that one quest when she was heavily pregnant and basically just took apart a castle. But other than that, she doesn't really have much battle experience. And this is it. The whole squad. This won't count towards the loot records, just to, just to clarify. And now we've got uh, McCall in charge of the two children who she is diligently teaching the stone cussing. Only the best for Gregner and Bones Jr. <laughs> Who they are is the bias sees on the inna. And following the capture of Rita the enormous but unkillable bug lady due to questionable game mechanics, the whole squad sets out on a worldwide tour of revenge. We have three major sites of interest. We have the booty bundlers, Corsairs, of course, under Grogna Grognison. We have the treasure takers, Corsairs, of course, under Grogna Grognison. And then finally, all the way over to almost the other side of the planet, the Loot Lickers, Grogna's capital, funnily enough, under Grogna Grognison. This will be a long and arduous journey, no doubt filled with starvation, probably. I had to pack them with baby food, okay? 
That's all they've got going for them. We travel west through the lands of Republic up towards the Western Viking Trail. Then in the dark forest, we're gonna have to set up our very first camp because our people are already running out of food. Who could have guessed that keeping all these Thrombo fed was a difficult task? Hey, you got any snacks? Uh, 248. Oh, they do have snacks. Holy crap. Oh, look at Scooty. Finally, the glow up you deserve. Does he look like a warlock? N not massively, but at least this time he doesn't look like he's about to go to a rave. Mmm, I do love food poisoning. Oh my god. Now for several long, hard days crossing the mountains, getting over to the Western Peninsula. All trying not to die of berry-induced food poisoning. <laughs> Funny we invented some sort of package survival meal. Oh, that's why. I was going to say it's weird because we had plenty of meat. We had plenty of crops, like a ridiculous amount. Nobody had the cooking skill to cook it. Well, that's unfortunate. I bet you probably could have cooked a single uh, package at a time. Yeah, well, there we go. We've learned a valuable lesson today. I mean, a little bit too late, but we've learned it. I don't think we're at any risk of getting a caravan wipe like poor sweet Rita. I think we're going to have them travel to the uh, Jason Square and then set up a camp for the night. One person's been leaving a comment every single episode about settling with a pre-built camp. And I responded to this like episode one. We're not going to use that. It's really, really overpowered. You basically get a full town built. Well, here goes nothing, I suppose. Now, what's the game plan going for them? Aim for the mages, right? Take those out, and I don't think we'll really have much to worry about, because a regular person's not going to be able to compete with Grigna. And if anybody dies, I'm going to get Gunty to bring them back as a skeleton. Well, here it goes. Oh, my God. Well, they've got, like, a full-on fortress here. Wow, we just happened to spawn inside the wall, which was very handy. Oh, watch out for the traps. Maybe we are... Uh... God, what is the best way to go in? I think we, we genuinely just try and take them through the front door, rather than doing... Ah! Rather than doing whatever this is over here. Look at all the powers. <laughs> um, wow. I mean, a lot of these powers we've got to save for Grogner himself, right? Oh my god, they're all going indoors and hiding. You know what, Scooty? I've got a job for you, my friend. Burn down my inn, will you? I'll show you how it feels to have something you love burnt down. Die! Oh. Scooty redemption arc. Oh no! Wait, that knocked Scooty down? Arcane load safe. Mana exhaustion camera. It's four hours. It's four hours. Defend Scooty. And so it begins. Get him, squad. Kill them all. Lupus, what can you do? Uh, nothing that probably won't kill our people as fast as it kills the enemy. There you go. That'll do it. Phil's firing off his spells. Let's just have you brain exploding, Phil the brain exploder. I don't see why not. Base destroyed? Nah. It's not about destroying the base. It's about destroying the very people who live there. Kill. Blow up. Bl Phil, blow up the brain. I... I think he did it. It certainly looks if he was doing it. Wow, this is chaos. This is pure chaos. <laughs> Burn down my inn, will you, Grogner Grognison? No one, no one will remember you. No one will remember you. Tell the others what you saw. Tell them about Grigner Grignison. We can't, we can't reform the caravan. There are enemies in the area. Is it really just these cows? Oh, no. <laughs> How's Bones doing? Bones, why are you on the floor? Oh, mana shot. Yeah, no, we did go a little bit hard on this one unnecessarily. Um, Greg, now bring the hammer. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> why would Grogna Grognison do this? Unbelievable. Has he no shame? Area now safe. There you go. And everybody's back up on their feet. Perfect timing. Let's get the hell out of here. That was the easy one. Now we've got another 2.1 days to get over there. Wow. From them, we'll steal their healing potions. We'll steal their books. The, the Corsairs are getting thoroughly Corsaired. News will travel faster than the caravan. Grogner Grognison's going to get a raven in no time telling him that Grigna's coming for him. Things seem to be going well back at the base. It looks as if Bones Jr. and Grigna Jr. are getting a, a, a sufficient education. Why are you eating raw lentils? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Looks like things are going well as the children eat plants out of the field. McCall, what are you doing? All this food and you haven't cooked a single freaking meal. What are you playing at? There we go. See, they're well taken care of. Oh, Bones Jr. Trampled by a bison. Get it. Get it, Grigna Jr. What did the buffalo say when he dropped his child off at school? You really got to think about it. Come on, this is Grigna Jr.'s first proper battle. 
Look at that. At the age of seven, he saved his younger sister from a rampaging bison. It's already the start of a legend. One more mountain range to cross, and then the squad is at the second of the three bases. I get the sneaking suspicion that maybe this time things will be slightly harder. I mean, after all, now Grogna Grognison knows that we're coming for him, right? I think we might see a few more a few more powerful fighters out there on the front line. Do we want to rest before we attack 11 a.m.? Now, you know what? You've probably just stopped. Oh, no, I don't want to give them gifts. It's not that. I think they've just had their nightly rest. Let's do it. Straight in. Show me what you've got, Grogna... Grognison. <laughs> Working as intended. <laughs> ah. Oh, it was right there. We must have gotten bad information. Maybe they'd moved away from their old base and over to a new area. Maybe we were just lied to by the people that told us where they lived. Allies of Grogna Grognison, perhaps. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe everything's falling apart because there was a uh, save breaking update to one of the mods a few days ago. Maybe maybe that. Or maybe we were lied to by Grogna Grognison. Let's try this again, Grigna Grignison. No doubt this will be even harder than the last one might have been because now they now they definitely know we're coming given they abandoned the whole base. Ah, uh, ah, ooh. Okay, let's do a little scouting. I presume Psychic Phil's able to... Oh, my God. How many mages are there? <laughs> okay, we got three, four, just four. Okay, maybe this isn't as bad as I thought. Man, these bases are cool, though, huh? Oh, Bones has left the area. Bones, get back here. We're supposed to be avenging your sister. I mean, she's not dead. She's just missing. Scooty, if you could please announce our presence, get their attention. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, there is a lot of them. Oh, my God, that's one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. Don't panic. Okay, everybody line up down this way. Create a line. They'll never get past us. Hold. Hold your ground. Let them come a little bit closer. And then we're going to unleash the chaos. Oh, God, this actually might be chaos. Go. Get them. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the levels of friendly fire. Holy crap. Bones is just in there with a hammer. Hey, you can you can equip like your actual real weapon, by the way. That's totally fine. Oh my god. And there were a bunch of enemy mages in that. They just didn't even have a chance to react. They didn't even know what was going on. They skipped some rocks over to us and that was about it. Uh someone might wanna Yeah, uh, you might want to extinguish. You might want to extinguish Zerek though. Eric, what are you doing on fire? Is everyone else okay? Barely any damage at all. Like a little bit of damage across Grigner and Sister Albergette. No real surprise given they dove in head first. Everyone else is totally okay. <laughs> oh, Grigner Grignison. We've stolen six of their healing potions. Even if they do some heavy damage now, we can probably... Whoa. Well, that is indeed the Trosvrufen Urenthranorn. Now this one... This right here, this place, this city, this town, this nation, this is the true final battle I have I have been told. I have heard it through the stars themselves. Grogner Grognison, when he saw Grigner arriving, pulled his entire army back to his capital. Big brain, very sensible man, that Grogner Grognison. So this, this red spiky house, this will be Grogner Grognison's final stand in like in like two days. So I guess we'll See how the children are after they've been stampeded by a bison. <laughs> you almost lost an arm. Ooh. I hope they don't get any infections, because I don't think we've got a good doctor here. Um, it's McCall or McCall. What's your medical skill? 9.54. Actually, that's not bad. We've got some healing potions here too, right? Uh, uh, no? Oh, we've got some. We've also got, you know, like other potions that will work. Babysitter is the strange grand lady. They come back and you've been fed pure sweet luciferium. What a terrible shame. Oh, they've run out of food. Well, to be fair, we've got to rest for the night anyway, given that it's just about to turn 9 p.m. So we'll... Hello? <laughs> Did you hear that? What the hell is even that? Get some food. Prepare yourself mentally, physically, because this right here is going to be the greatest battle you're ever going to see. Is there any food? Ah. Uh, there, might, there might not actually be any food. Berry bush. Great. There's... Ten of them. Half of them haven't even bloody grown. After all of that, we ate almost as much food as we gathered up. But you know where there is some food. Why? It might be Grogna Grognison's capital city. Here we go. The battle to end all battles. 
All of Grogna Grognison's troops, all of his soldiers, pulled back to defend this capital. It's time to save Rita. It's finally time for our greatest battle. Let's see what Grogna Grognison has prepared. It is in the same place. Yeah, it's definitely the same place, okay? Soldiers of Grogna, prepare yourself. Oh my lord. Whoa, what a city he has. Solid jade castle walls. Wow. Can anybody see Rita? Is she here? No, I mean, I would just use the search function, but that might, um, uh, that might ruin the surprise. <laughs> it's just been a crock of shit. <laughs> Look at this base generation, though. It's like someone built it all by hand. Prepare yourself, team. There are dozens of them. 54 enemy Vikings of Grogna Grognason, and now it's time. Now it is time. Let's get their attention and let's kill them all. Oh! And the battle begins. Gunty, no. Gunty's been knocked out of the fight already. Grigna and Sister Lava get her in there. Gazoos just has total control of this. Oh, careful squad, careful squad. Pull back a second. Grigna, get out of there. Ooh! Seems like we might have some enemy mages to try and deal with. What the hell is that? Back off, back off, back off. They're using arrow storms on our people. They pin Scooty down. They're going to impale poor Scooty. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is chaos. <laughs> Grigna, Scooty, Sister Lubbaget is on fire. Minus 68 degrees C. What have you done to Grigna, though? They've pinned him down. Free Grigna. Free Grigna the squad. Stand back. Zurich has just been hit by some sort of psychic freeze. Oh, my God. Uh, have we got any big powers that we can use? Phil? Just, just keep volleying. What else can I do here? Ah, uh, snap freeze, snap freeze, snap freeze. Get him. Nice. Okay, good start. Bones. Bones, surely you've got something that can help out here. You want a total mess? You want a total... Oh, Grigna, Grigna was up, and now he is down again. <laughs> ah, what's wrong with you? Malnutrition trivial. Oh, they're so hungry. We rested all for Rita. How are they all down? Arcane load overloaded? Sirik, what happened to you, my friend? Everybody's just getting wiped out. Arcane load safe. I, it's the hypothermia. It's the bloody frozen warriors of Grogna Grognason. Grigna's down again. How do you keep doing this? They keep using burden? They just keep repeatedly stunning our people. Sirik gets up. Sirik gets back down again. They keep shooting them with their bows and arrows. I think we underestimated Grogna Grognason. Bones. Bones is back up. Bones, prepare yourself. I need you to get in there and rescue. Oh, she was up and then she's down. She's frozen. She's on fire. <laughs> I feel like it, uh, oh, Grigna, 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 search and destroy, everybody, just search and destroy, a lot of them seem to have fleed, a lot of them seem to have been killed by friendly fire, yes, vengeance for Rita, base destroyed, I feel like I was just flailing, flailing around, what the hell did we do, oh my god, does that also mean that, since it was their last settlement, the Corsair has been defeated, where was Grogna Grognason? He wasn't here. Oh my god, look, everybody's getting back up. They didn't use anything that dealt any hefty damage to our people. All they did was kept stunning them. Oh, that would be your biggest mistake. So it's back up. Gazoos, how are you doing? You were just arcane overload, right? Mana shock. Yeah, you'll be fine in no time. Oh my god. Can we get Sister Lobbergat out of there? Bones, rescue her. Get out of the cold. We've still got a person to rescue. We've still got to find Grogna. Gazoos will be fine. Gazoos will be fine. Just, just uh, maybe, maybe take them away from the fire. Maybe get them out of the fire. Look at that, look at that, the whole squad's safe. No, 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 don't worry about it, don't worry about it. You don't have to go kill anyone. Don't worry, don't turn off search and destroy. But there's only one thing we should be searching for and one thing we should be destroying right now, and that's bloody doors to try and find Rita. Smash it down. Grigna, uh, where's the entrance? Smash this one down. Phil, blast that door. Rita could be in there. Your beloved sweet Rita. Oh, nothing, 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 just houses. What about over here? Oh, we can just walk in. We can just walk in. Phil, don't worry about it. Don't use the brain power. We found the kitchen. Oh, meals. Delicious. Oh, nothing, nothing. Get over here, Gunty. Gunty, where, where is Gunty? Ah. <laughs> yeah, no, everybody's fine. No, we've accounted for everybody. There's no problem. God, what's in there? <gasps> Grogna's throne room. Ooh. An enormous jade throne from all of his ill-gotten gains. Is this Grogna's bedroom too, perhaps? There's only one building left. There is only one building left. That can mean only one thing, right? Rita. Rita! Sweet precious Rita, we found you. Oh my god, she look, she's been hit by some sort of magical brainwash. Enemy member of Corsairs, it's okay. It's okay, we'll be able to break you out of it. Don't worry. But the question is, where's Grogna Grognason? Well, I mean, I know how we can find him. Grog, no, he's not here. He is no, nowhere near. What a coward. Oh, we can't reform the caravan. 
We can't reform the caravan because of one simple little feathery reason. What a sad time. Grigna. Grigna killed them all. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Area is now safe. We can reform. But where is Grogna? You know what? Give me that throne. That's mine now. That's coming with me. 2.1 days. We're going completely the opposite way to the way we went the first time. But when we, we set up camp there, we walked all the way around here. That's crazy. That's going to take so long. My God. Grogna Grognason. There's only one thing we can do. Split the caravan. Split the caravan. Send Grigna. Send Grigna and send horse. Ah, uh, this is Grigna's fight. This has to be Grigna's fight. Ooh, Grogna Grognason. Your time has come. My God, they're going to get all the way back to the castle before Grigna's even met Grogna. Whoa. Okay. Take Risa. Lock her up. Make sure she's safe. That is, that is so sad. That is so sad. Oh, I'm sure it won't take her long to remember who she is, where she came from. She'll, she'll be back. She'll be back in no time. She's home safe. Grigna, on the other hand. Grigna is definitely not home safe. Well, it all comes down to this. Maybe we'll find out the truth of Grogna Grognison. Good luck, Grigna. Let's see what we're up against. <gasps> Grogna Grognison. What's he doing? <laughs> Grogna, what are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, God, he just really hates penguins. Why is he doing this? <laughs> Grogna. Grogna's lost his mind. Oh, he's so mighty. Wow, look at him. Grogna Grognison. Blood level of 100 can, of course, only mean one thing. There he is. Workaholic, steadfast, iron stomach, herbalist, tough. But more importantly, he is a vampire. Ow, an evil reflection of Grigna himself. Whoa. All the same strengths, but even worse, he does have that vampiric need. And there's only one person on this planet who could possibly stop a being so powerful. Oh, no, not the penguins. <laughs> Are we mere mortals even going to be able to comprehend what is about to happen? The speed of which these two juggernauts are going to fight. Whoa. My God, Grigna. Grigna, you've done it. You've defeated him. All that experience, all the questing, the magic, amethyst hammer. Everybody knows vampires hate giant gem hammers. <laughs> Grogna Grognason, you have committed crimes against Grigna and his people. You are sentenced to death. Duh. <laughs> For the time. Well, that's going to mess up all that tracking I did in the Toby premiere, isn't it? Uh -uh. You are sentenced to death, <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. That took ages. <laughs>
Wow. That really was one of the endings of all time. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Maybe one day Grigner and Bones will be reunited. Maybe that family will come back together. Maybe the questing guild will grow to be bigger than I could have ever imagined. But it won't be in this save because this save truthfully fell apart about three days ago when there was an update that broke questing. A little bit of a, a little bit of a problem there. Maybe, maybe now and then we might see Grigner popping back up falling through the timeline and popping up in all sorts of strange new places. I think that maybe, just maybe, there'll always be a Grigner. When you need him the most, when you least expect it, that innocent, brainless moron will be there to save the day. What a guy he is. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Thank you for, I, I think this was, uh, uh, it was certainly a proof of concept. Uh, it was definitely not quite <laughs> what I had in mind, especially by the end. There were a lot of hiccups in the uh, in the mod pack. There was some some major conflicts between what was going on, but most importantly, uh, the uh, the RPG fantasy flavor mod that that you know needs a kind of rewrite for the description, the name, and everything else. That was that was great. That was a fantastic experience. We've got to give a shout out to Feldo who did a massive amount of work on on that front on the GitHub and keeping everything managed. Sandwich gave us that whole new ranger tree and lots of other people contributed uh, ideas and little extra translations and things like that. That is a mod that I'm going to keep working on kind of behind the scenes and, and try and build that up more and more and more to help keep things a, a fantasy flavor, you know, for, for future playthroughs. Because I'm sure, I, I said this before, but the... Uh, the idea of medieval and and fantasy, especially in remote, is pretty much indivisible, right? So we're certainly going to need a mod to to bring back for future playthroughs of this ilk too. And I know for a fact there's quite a big, very cool looking update coming from the medieval overhaul team. So keep an eye out for that one. In the meantime, thank you for joining me. New series will be starting hopefully quite soon. I've, I've already got the idea and the mod pack and everything kind of going ready. Uh, it's not finished by any stretch of the imagination. We're going pretty well for the next series. It's a much more simple concept, but still quite a cool idea, I think. So it'll be, it'll be returning a bit to more of a grounded reality uh, for as long as that lasts. Thank you, as always, of course, to Electus J, Prototyping Session, Cryopsis, Elec, Mr. Altissimo, Pumlord, Chicken Robo, RX, The Lincoln, Voodoo Mumbo, Harpio, Boulder of the Hammer, Snickerdoodle, Jasmine K, Pang Power, Ash and Jack, Izzy, Claire, Kegvet Ore, This Be Willis, Mill, Lucrative, Suka Cumber, <laughs> Bringer of Dry Cheese, Shadow Blade, MK Sky, Sabat Zun, Manuel Cotraba, Salsa T Unkillable, Kent McCullough, Splendid Spleen Spill, Scares, and Scott Layton for their spot over at the Executive Producer Tears over on Patreon. Thank you. Without you all, I wouldn't have had the many, many hours behind the scenes, especially for this series, more than any other to work on all the little extra bits that went into this one. And more importantly, um, gobbling together these last few episodes out of scraps and having to basically do a full load of directorial work behind the scenes and, and doing everything manually was, was a massive time sink. So thank you for bearing with me. Thank you as well to Donald, Soltalor, Valerie Kinder, Mike Dexios, Craze Monkey, 231, Bodar, Banana Master, Elliot Sandage, James Morrison, Koi, Canopus, Zerbio, KCG, Tassos, Papadopoulos, Zethran Jackson Jr., David, Elkel, Fair Fight, Frank, Alexander H., Mr. Yeti, Prismo, Arcta, Lol the Cool, Waylon Smith, The Dwarven Gaming, Doc Thate, Dawnbreak, Z Audio 951, Colin, and mittens the murder kitten see you all hopefully tomorrow <laughs>